Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can use Langchain with Olama. Now, you might have already heard about Langchain, that's why you're in this video. And Langchain, you know, for a really quick recap, is a framework for developing applications powered by language models like ChatGPT and other models uh, out there, right? But it's a framework that makes it working with large language models easier by giving you a bunch of templates and libraries and uh, modules and agents and chains and all that kind of things, right? But what about Olama? Olama is basically one of the easiest way to run uh, local large language models, open source large language models, right? And you'll see how simple it is uh, in this video once I, you know, download a model and then run that model. But for now, Olama is um, a tool that will allow you to run open source large language models uh, such as Llama 2 locally very easily. And in this video, we'll be combining these two and doing some cool stuff. And maybe in the um, future videos, we'll build on what we have here. You know, if you like me to focus on this uh, combo, right? Olama and Langchain. But for now, let's start doing something. You know, let's follow this tutorial and let's do something with it, right? So let's um, uh, follow the instruction to set up and run a local Olama instance. Now, the thing is, I've already uh, installed Olama, right? Very simple uh, to install Olama. And by the way, I'm on Mac and, you know, this tutorial is mostly focused on Mac, but you can also do this on Linux. Okay, so for this tutorial, what I'm going to assume is you already have Olama installed on your machine. Now, if you don't have it installed, you can follow instructions um, right here, and I'll be posting this guide on the description uh, below. Let's say you have Olama installed, which I have done in my uh, machine already, right? So the first thing you do to integrate Langchain with Olama is you download uh, Olama, you fetch a model, um, basically, you run a command like this, right? So after you install Olama, you have access to a command line like this, and you can type Olama. Um, and because I've already uh, downloaded some models, um, I can say Olama list, and you can see some of the AI models that I've already downloaded, right? One of the very popular model right now is Mistral, and I can now do Olama pull we're pulling a model from the registry I'm going to say pull mistral and what this command does is it basically will download the model uh, into our machine and next time we run Olama list obviously after this is downloaded we'll see that model um, available to us and at that point we can start running that model. All right, so it took me a while to download this, but now uh, if I do Olama list, you'll see that now I have the Mistral model downloaded. And now I can start running the model. And I can start talking to this. But what we want to do in this video is use Langchain to talk with these models using Olama. So let's go back to the tutorial and let's start writing our Python script to work with Olama. All right, so let me install Langchain. Okay, the Langchain library is installed. Okay, so once the Langchain framework is installed using the pip command. What we'll do is we'll create a new file langchain olama.py file. We'll create this file and then and let's start importing all of these imports that we need to run this tutorial. So langchain callback manager, streaming standard out, callback handler, and olama. So we import those things. And the second thing we do is we define what LLM we want to use. 
In this case, we want to use Mistral, which we just downloaded. Um, and that's one of the cool things about Langchain and Olama, right? You can quickly swap out these models, right? Now I can start with Mistral. And now if I want to experiment with a different model like Llama 2, I can just change this to Llama 2, right? But let's stick with Mistral for now. Uh, we can also optionally pass this uh, streaming standard out callback handler to stream tokens. You know, let's skip this for now. We want to keep this uh, pretty straightforward. And I'll just say uh, this, you know, this command to start talking to the Mistral uh, model, you know, using Olama, right? Tell me the history of AI and tell me... Okay, so tell me the history of AI and tell me some influential figures. Uh, tell me names of some influential figures in the space of AI, right? So this is this is it. Let's see if this runs. Python, Langchain, Olama, and it's not printing anything. So we may need to do this. So just print. Let's see if this does the trick. And yeah, um, it did give me some response now, right? Once I printed the 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 command. So uh, this is how simple it, it is to um, combine Langchain and Olama. And you can also do things like swap out the model, you know, if you want, which you know we can we can do uh, really quick. But before that. Let me show you. This is this was the output, right? The concept of artificial intelligence, as we understand today, can be tracked back to uh, 20th century, da 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 da. You know, and some of the influential uh, people are uh, Geoffrey Hinton, Fei Fei Li, and Demis Hassabis, right? So yeah, we did get a good response from the language model, Mistral, but because I have other models with me you know I have um, some other models here including I have the mixed trial model right which is the mixer of experts um, model created by Mistral and it is very big 26 gigabytes compared to the Mistral model that we're using so why don't we try to see the response with that right and maybe ask a couple of uh, things to this so now I'm gonna say uh, this same thing and let's see what we get as as a response but this time once again we're using the bigger model right the 26 gig mixer of expert or MOE model so let's see what we get as you can see we got a response back and this time we get we get something uh, a bit deeper, right? Especially, I can already see that for the influ influential figures in AI space, I get a lot more names than just the three names mentioned previously, right? Like um, uh, Claude Shannon, Alan Turing, and a lot of other people, right? So, you know, this is just a quick demo of how easy it is to integrate your Olama models with Langchain. Just because it's so easy to set up Olama, you know, it'll take you probably like five or ten minutes. So easy to add new models with Olama and then Langchain makes it even easier to, you know, just start asking questions, right? So hopefully this was useful to you, you know, you learned something from this video. So I'll be adding this code to this repo. I'll, up, I'll update this repo so that you can find all the uh, scripts and guidance on how to run this. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, I also want to explore more uh, ways to integrate Llama uh, or Olama with Langchain, especially with the Olama API. Uh, so if you're interested in that video, please let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.